was my love of you and what you believed in that made me try to get you. With your renaissance ways, you taught me that I'm not the center of the universe. But I've learned since then to go beyond the sun because there was so much out there to see. As a scientist, I know you changed our viewers of the world, so science must create you again. I know that mathematics can explain the universe, and you were so much more than a mathematician. You were a physician, a translator, an economist, an astronomer, an artist. I know you were a founder in your time, and the half-life of what we create may be small, but I will have to throw any metal I could and any isotope I could with like zinc on the lead just to see if you would come out for us again. Let us find you. Let us experiment with you. Let us accelerate these processes, cause just the right reactions to synthesize you in your genius. I don't care how we get you, whether what we do is cold or hot, when we fuse to create you. And, and although all of our work, and through it all, you might only come to us after the decay of others around you. We, we've learned that by now, now that we have you, we can try to work with any part of you, no matter how unstable you say you are. I don't care. You're the last member transitioning in this series, so now I can only reflect on your relativity to planets like Mercury, as well as your nobility. I miss what you've done for how we think in this world. I miss clear, scientific minds. I only hope that what we've done in your honor does you justice. Even though we've only created you, I want you to remember that it was because we wanted to learn too, and we wanted you to guide the way. <laughs>